it's a beautiful day. There's actually blue skies, so I had to come out here and record this video with you, with blue skies. My name is Alana Heim of Prosperity Alignment, and I've been in a smoke dome for the entire month of August, some of July, and it would lift a little, and maybe we'd get a little glimmer of some sky, but nothing like the blue sky behind me. And it really had me sit back and appreciate just nature in in her beauty and knowing I haven't seen it in so long it was kind of isolating I was inside and there's just so much smoke but I couldn't see the sky couldn't see the Sun the stars the moon couldn't come out here and be barefoot in the grass so I have a great appreciation for when we do have access to the things that sometimes we take for granted and we love so much. I want to share a little bit about the gate 40. The sun is activating the gate 40 currently. The gate 40 is near and dear to my heart. It is a consistent energy I have in my human design chart. The earth activates it for me. So it's part of my evolution. It's a big part of what I need to ground myself uh, to support me and nurture me, to help me rest. Um, gate 40 really does that. But also Saturn activates this energy for me. So it's something that I need to learn, really, this lesson. So in the Gene Keys, the city, the highest essence is divine will. And this is powerful. The gift is resolve. And the shadow is exhaustion. Now, I think by having the 40, I really have not lived my life in exhaustion. I can feel it. And I know because this is a will center energy, when I need to pause and make sure that I'm taking care of myself, that I'm resting. There's a piece here about resources that comes up as it ties to the will center and making sure that we are resourced, right? You personally are resourcing yourself, that you have resources, that you are not exhausting those resources. However, we can apply this on a bigger level. We could say that Mother Earth has a lot of resources for us and humanity has been exhausting them. Where can we start to allow sustainability to come forth by allowing ourselves to rest, get what we need, but let Mother Earth rest? And there were beautiful moments during this pandemic where Mother Earth was able to resource herself because power plants and or not power plants but plants like shut down for creating consumer products and things like that we weren't driving our cars and having pollution rampant as usual she got a break she needs a break as much as we do the piece that's really been coming up for me around the 40 is the divine will divine will in the sense of allowing ourselves to go there to not let our ego take over. And I've had a couple of realizations where spirit has come through to say, I have gifts to bring and I need to share them. And where I was judging myself or fearing that others might judge me is exactly why some of my healing abilities weren't being shared. And I was allowing some of the fear to come forth and not help, allow me to share those. And who am I to, to hold that back, right? So here's the piece where I want you to also recognize you have gifts that the world needs. And are you stopping yourself for fear that the ego, the human side is coming in and saying, no, you can't do this. When really divine will says it's time. And it's not about your ego. Get out there and share your brilliance. So I, I've really been sitting with that and going, oh my gosh, I can, I can totally relate and feel that. Another big piece that Richard Rudd talks about with the gate 40, the gate 40 is never going to give up and it's here to slay the dragon. But we're in times now where we're not meant to slay anything. We're meant to heal. So instead of slaying the dragon, the dragon needs healing. And 
there's a big piece of just knowing that I'm not going to give up. And fear is this dragon that we're here to heal. And it's beautiful because for the longest time I've known that fear is like this, this force that has been holding the vibration of the planet down in the depths of darkness. Fear is rampant everywhere. And I couldn't quite understand because, you know, I don't have the gate 48 and that's like a, a splenic fear around not knowing enough. And I have the gates 57, the fear of the future, and I have the gate 28, fear of life having no purpose or meaning or fear of death. But there was just something more that I know that I'm here to help people transmute fear into courage. So yes, I've created fear, uh, a fear program called Courage to Thrive that I've been running for three years now. I run it every fall, every spring. We're here to heal the fear on the planet. And it starts with healing from within you. <clears throat> now, one of my PHS, the quadrant of perspective, I hold the perspective of fear, which doesn't mean that I live in fear, but I love to dive into it. And what I've realized and really have learned, you have to dive into fear. Like you have to go into it to boom, transmute, mute, move through, find the courage on the other side and reveal that there's no limitation anymore. So we are in fear season. It's already started. It started August 19th, I think. Venus began activating the first gate of the sequence of the seven gates within the spleen. We have Venus, Mercury, Mars, and the Sun that are all going to go through these gates between August and November 19th. So for three solid months, we don't have just one planet activating them. We have four, right? We have three planets plus the Sun. So we have four different transiting energies that are coming in and we're already feeling it. How does that play out for you? What does fear feel like, look like, taste like, smell like? I do this program coinciding with the transiting energies because instead of me just teaching about an energy, why don't we play in it together? I'm inviting you to come play, to learn that yes, there's lower expressions of the energy around fear, you don't have to get lost in it. You can transmute it into higher consciousness. You can move it up, raise the vibration to be more courage, love, trust. It's what we all need and what we're all going through. We're faced with fear everywhere we turn. It's in marketing, it's in business, it's in family, it's in lineage, it's in past lives, it is in trauma, it is all over the place and what I know is when we can raise our vibration we change our reality we change our lives we change humanity for the better to reach its ability to ascend as mother earth is ascending it is so important so the big piece around the gate 40 we're here to rest we're here to go inward and get what we need because what I know is yes we're here for service to others but there is an element of service to self only in the way of making sure that you are nourished and that you are balanced that you are sovereign that you are taking care of you because the more you align with who you are and align with your human design chart knowing and integrating and truly living who you are you have more to give and your service to others increases tenfold, a hundredfold, however big and much you want it to be. Because the other key is we're not pulling from each other. I don't know my chart, so I know what energies I can get from you. It's not about any of that. It's about connecting to source, being resourced, being resourceful. It's all part of the will center. The gate 40 has this ability to have resolve but to be of divine will and to connect to source in such a way that you have everything you need. You have the courage to trust and follow that flow and not get caught up in the fear. So if you want to learn more about Courage to Thrive, please check out the links. Please 
connect with me. I would love to support you for the eight weeks that we run together in exploring the energies of not just the spleen, those seven gates, but that we also go into some of the knowing, empowering individual gates of the one, the 43, and the 14. So knowing your own creativity, your ability to break through and create resources and prosperity. This is a program that goes from gate 18 of alignment, realignment, to the gate 14 of prosperity. And it's so divine that spirit said, create this program and this is how it flows and prosperity alignment, right? That's what it's all about. That's what I'm here to help support you with to allow you to raise your vibration, change your life, have more prosperity, change your relationship with money, if that's part of your prosperity, to have a better connection with yourself where you get to rest and be rejuvenated. You're not lost in the shadow of exhaustion from the gate 40, but you're truly living in this higher vibration. I love you. I respect you. I honor you. I thank you for being you. You are my family. Bye for now.